it's funny because you know we put out this palm card to promote the event, um, and you know we put "Is America the New Rome? Will it fall?" and an evening of socialist education. And I think the reason we put you know this bottom part, an evening of socialist education, is because there's a lot of stupidity out there when it comes to the fall of Rome. Whenever you hear somebody talking about the fall of the Roman Empire, a political leader, a commentator you almost want to cringe, right? There's a recording of Richard Nixon, for example, when he was in the White House. And he was really upset, and, and the show All in the Family had just come out, and there'd been an episode that featured a gay couple. He was just furious about it. And he's sitting there, and there's an audio recording of Nixon in the White House, and he's sitting there, and oh my God, you know, what is this? This is the fall of a civilization. Oh my God, don't you know the last five Roman emperors were a bunch of fags? This is awful. <laughs> you know, he's sitting there. Well, I'm not here tonight to tell you that the Roman Empire fell because of homosexuality. <laughs> You were hoping to hear that, you came to the wrong event. I found a lot of videos of guys in there Make America Great Again hats, and they're like, you know why the Roman Empire fell? It's because a bunch of immigrants came in there and took all the jobs. They didn't put up a wall. You know, no, the Roman Empire did not fall. It did not fall because of immigration. So if you're looking for someone to tell you that, you came to the wrong meeting. But why talk about Rome, right? It's thousands of years ago. But the thing is, if you can understand the fall of the Roman Empire, if you can understand historical events and develop a scientific and dialectical understanding of history and apply that analysis and those methods to understanding historical events, if you can do that, you can understand what's happening in the world today and you can understand how we might move toward a better future. Now, um, before we, want, we get to exactly why the Roman Empire fell, I think we need to throw out a question. Was the fall of Rome a good thing? Was the fall of Rome a good thing, right? Now, your gut instinct, you want to say yes, right? Because the Roman Empire was associated with so many evil things, slavery, plunder, occupation of peoples. You know, it's perfectly correct to, to admire Spartacus and the heroic slave revolt that took place in the first century BC in the Italian peninsula where slaves broke their chains and rose up and killed their masters and fought for freedom. It's absolutely correct to admire the Scottish warriors who fought for the liberation of their people in Britain from the Romans, or the zealots of ancient Palestine who fought for the liberation of their people. It's absolutely correct. But that doesn't answer the question. Was the fall of the Roman Empire actually a good thing? And most historians, most classicists will tell you, no, it was not, right? Clifford Ando, probably the most well-respected classicist, in a lecture he gave to the Oriental Institute, he's from the University of Chicago, he talks about how archaeologists have dug up the bones of people, right? And they've, they've shown that after the fall of the Roman Empire, in the aftermath of the fall of the Roman Empire, the human life expectancy went down significantly, right? After the fall of the Roman Empire, calorie intake and nutrition that people had significantly went down. Um, after the fall of the Roman Empire, things across Europe got more and more unstable. And it actually took Europe 1,100 years to get back to the population level it had had at the height of the Roman Empire in the first, uh, first two centuries AD, right? It took 1,100 years for Europe to return to that population level. So by any objective measure, the fall of the Roman Empire was quite a bad thing. It made people's lives significantly worse. And it's interesting that at the time the United States was being created as a country, one of the most popular books in the English language was Edward Gibbon's book, The Decline and Fall of the Roman Empire, which was being published in volumes. I believe eight different volumes of the book were published. And if you read the writings of you know, George Washington, the letters of Thomas Jefferson and others, they were reading this, and they were obsessed with this. And the, the reason that a lot of cities in upstate New York have names similar to you know, Roman names or Roman figures is because of that. The reason that in Washington, D.C., a lot of the way the roads are laid out, and a lot of the architecture is modeled on Rome is because of that. That there was wide-ranging discussion at the time of the Renaissance and later the Enlightenment throughout Europe asking what went wrong with the Roman Empire. Why did the Roman Empire fall? What was going on? 